Welcome to GCK King's Circle with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. Hello, esteemed audience. Welcome to another enlightening episode of GCK King Circle. Today, we are back on a profound journey, delving into the essence of our words and their transformative potential. I am your host, Olawi Shalom, and alongside me is Christiana Onifade, here at the GCK King Circle. Princes, princesses, kings, and queens are nested, nurtured, and knitted for royalty. Before going further, join me in welcoming a global teacher mentor, lover of youth, and university don, Dr. W.F. Kumui. Forget numbers. Dr. W.F. Kumui found his calling in faith. He traded formulas for the Bible. His charisma and teachings have captivated millions worldwide, making him a giant in the world of evangelism. He's not just about preaching fire. He's fueling the future through initiatives like the King Circle, mentoring young people to become leaders who can change the world. Dr. Komui isn't just a preacher, he's a force for good empowering a generation to rise and shine. It's truly an honor to have you with us today. As we gather here, let us back in the melodious strain of our esteemed international music artist who will lead us in a moment of worship. Everyone needs compassion, a love that's never failing. Let mercy fall on me. Everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of a savior, the hope of nature. Come on, sing it out. Savior, he can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. So, without further ado, let's dive right in and get started with our renowned mentor, teacher of youth, Dr. W.F. Kumli. The power of the liberated tongue. For Samuel chapter 17, I'm reading from verse 34. And David said unto Saul, The servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb out of the floor. And I went out after him, and smote him, and delivered it out of his mouth. And when the arose against me, I caught him by the beard and smote him and slew him. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear. The days of circumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, seeing he has defied the armies of the living God. That man was liberated. And he was liberated from the attitude of the Israelites. When the Israelites saw Goliath coming out and challenging them, I said, Give me a man that will fight against me. If I overcome him, then your whole nation will be subjected unto us. If he overcomes me, and he only put that side because he didn't actually believe anybody could come out of the land of Israel and overcome him then we will be your servants and Saul was shaking in his boots and the senior brothers of David they were shaking in their boots and all the other warriors and members and soldiers in the army they were shaking and then David came up what put him over the only difference is the tongue of the lineage he said the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want and then he said, Sit will before me, even in the presence of my enemies, and my cup is filled and running over. And he says, Yes, yeah, surely I know this. Whether Goliath is there or not, it doesn't matter the challenge. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And then when I finish my assignment here, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. It was his tongue that put him over. And Saul the king 
He said, my little boy, you cannot. My little boy, you are not a match to this. You know, that's the tongue of the unlearned. He was a king. He had the position. He had the, he had the authority. He had the title. He didn't have the tongue of the lineage. And the people had said, give us a man that will be a king and go before us in battle. God gave them a man who was higher than everybody, taller than everybody else, but he didn't have what he took. It's the talk of the learning. Here David came and David said, I will, and he did it. I will, I will do it. I said, I will, I will do it. Don't mind that thing that is, you know, kind of uh, running or stirring up in your brain. It's what to say with your tongue. And when you say, I can, I must, I will, it will be done in Jesus' name. Look at verse 45. Then said David. Have you noticed in this chapter that David never said anything negative? Everything was positive. He didn't even have a sword in his hand. But all the same, he still spoke like if he had a sword in his hand. And then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword and with a, and with a spear and with a shield. But I come to thee how? I come to thee how? In the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the, of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied this day. When is your victory? When is your promotion? That thing you've been looking for and saying, when will I have it? When will I be it? When will you have it? <laughs> Conditions don't change the promise of God. Circumstances don't change the promise of God. And how you feel or how they feel does not change what God will do. My own understanding, my own assurance, my own confidence and my own faith is that for you, there today, it is this day. I said it is this day. My progress will not be stopped by anybody. A liberated tongue, and that is what helps people. You know, if you look at the adult life, you'll find that you know many of our professions you have to use your words, you have to use tongue. If you're a journalist, of course, use words, engineer, use words, doctors, use words, politicians, use words, and if a businessman, use words. And many times, it's the words we speak, the things we say that can make that business to crumble just right there. It's not just the knowledge, what you say. And I pray that today the Lord will touch your tongue in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 15, and we're looking at uh, verse 4. The Lord God has given me the tongue of the land. I wake up in the morning, that's my confession. The Lord has given me the tongue of the lineage. I'm going to meet somebody I've never met before as a stranger. Normally, maybe you're afraid of meeting somebody you've never met before, but you're telling yourself, praise the Lord. The Lord has given me the tongue of the land. I'm going to that uh, office and, you know, I'm, uh, I'm going to defend uh, this, I'm going to defend that. And then it's like, uh, how am I going to do it? But thank God the Lord has given me the tongue of the land. There's a problem that arose and they're calling me and they're saying, come on, come and say what you know about this praise the Lord. The Lord has given me the tongue of the land. The next time you see me, I'll be on the mountain top. I said, I don't know about you, but I know about me. The next time you see me, the next time you see me, I'll be on the mountain top in Jesus' name. Why don't you stand up and climb up and climb up and get out of that valley and get out. It's your tongue, it's your tongue, it's your tongue, it's your day. This is your time and this is your privilege. It's going to be done. All you need to do is just turn everything around, turn everything around and let the blood of Jesus wash and cleanse and purge all those negative things out of your tongue. And understand the Lord has given me the liberated tongue and the lifted tongue. In Jesus' name we pray. When is the Lord going to turn your destiny around? The blessing of heaven be multiplied upon your life. Lord, confirm it for every life in Jesus' name. I thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Profound insight indeed. Reminding us of the significant impact a liberated tongue can have on our lives. 
absolutely Christiana. It underscores the truth that our words possess the power to shape destinies, both ours and others. I believe you have been inspired to read your words with purpose and compassion, fostering positive transformation within and around you. Precisely. Remember, the tongue, when liberated, becomes a force for life and empowerment. Be the drink. Be royal. We believe that you've been impacted. Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui will love to hear from you. Please visit our social media platforms and don't forget to join us on the next episode of GCK King Circle.